And who am I? I am Natalie Jackson from the Melrose Trading Post. I work with Greenway Arts Alliance, the arts nonprofit that puts on the Melrose Trading Post every Sunday. Um, I'm one of the managers of the market. Uh, yay, Florian Luna just joined. Um, so yes, so I'm here interviewing different vendors from the Melrose Trading Post um, as a way to kind of bring everyone together. You know, we miss the market being open and uh, we've been doing Zoom calls with our vendor community and they came up with this brilliant idea. And so we are connecting you with these wonderful people and you get to see a behind the scenes look of where they work and how their businesses are impacted uh, by the pandemic and all the closures. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring Ariana on. So Ariana, there you are, hello. I can hear you. <laughs> oh, and who do you have with you today? This is Zoe. Oh, Zoe, so cute. What kind of dog is Zoe? It's a Pomeranian, but um, I gave her the worst haircut. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so cute. Oh, we He's gave our dog a haircut too, and <laughs> he looks all right. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> It's a good haircut, don't worry. <laughs> so yes, I'm so excited that you're able to connect with us today. Um, and I'm so excited to learn all about Flora y Luna, beautiful hat company. Um, you. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and about you? Yeah, so um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So they're all handcrafted hats, um, obviously Flora y Luna. Um, I'm from Mexico. I was born in Morelia, Michoacan, um, but I'm living in Los Angeles currently, and I make handcrafted hats. Yes, and I can see you're wearing one of your designs today. <laughs> Very beautiful. Um, when we were sharing about who would be on this live call, I had several people say, oh my goodness, I need those hats. So I'm, I'm hoping that people are really checking out uh, your Instagram, which I just posted up um, on here, and really seeing like what you can make, because what you've brought to the market is so beautiful. Um, and I'm very excited for you to kind of show us and tell us about your business. Um, so um, your business is really based on customizing and one-on-one. -on -one. So how are you navigating that during this closure of everything? Um, by the way, I love your Frida drawing. <laughs> Thank you. It's from the market from Six and Lasers. <laughs> staring at it. I'm like, who am I talking to? Dear? <laughs> yeah, so it's been a little different since my business is very personal and one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I usually measure and talk to them. So it's been um, a little harder because they can't come into my office and all of that. But it's been, it's been like a process of figuring out how to go about doing it through online. Mm -hmm. so, um, they send me a message and then I sent them a, like how to measure themselves and I do the whole process online. And it's, it's been good because I'm trying to make it easier for people to order online as well. But I do miss the interaction, the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you're, the way you would set up your booth was so beautiful and inviting. And so I, I always would see like people drawn to it and just be like, oh, I want to be a part of this, you know, just because the presentation itself is so beautiful. So I imagine the one-on-one -on -one experience is really special too. Yeah, it would take all my plants with me because they're so necessary. <laughs> yeah, it really felt homey. And, yeah, it yeah, had beautiful. Corner, and you don't know how many people came up to me and asked me how much it was. Or if <laughs> that was decoration. Yeah, it really sets the mood. Like some people are just so creative with the way they set up the space and you know, it's so inspiring. Every time I walk through the market, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I'm Mexican, so I can't help but decorate in that way. It's like anytime we have a party here, it's just that way. So I can't even help having the little banners from Mexico and all of that. 
Yeah. And so I know that you mentioned you have an office and that's in downtown, correct? Uh, so um, I'll explain the process of getting ahead. Well, when, when I had the office, which hopefully you will do at some point soon. Um, so my office is in downtown LA and I like it there because it's so close to the fashion district and I can just walk back and forth from my workspace to all the shops that I usually go to. And um, um, usually a client will come in and sit down with me and it's usually about 30 minutes. Sometimes we go over because we just get to talking and never stop. And in that process, I'll measure them. I'll show them my color swatches and sample so that they can feel them and try them on and they'll they'll get to pick a color then they pick the style then we go over what they might like but normally it's it's so personal because i need to know who i'm making it for what they like what they don't like what type of person they are and things like that because it really helps me out um with creating the hat for them but now that i'm, fine, I'm still online I just go over their entire Instagram now <laughs> nice that's a good way to get to know someone <laughs> I love that and so so um, you know what made you decide that um, you would branch out from your office in downtown and do pop-ups at the Melrose Trading Post so um, well, I've always gone to the Melrose Post. I moved to Los Angeles about eight years ago. So I've always, and I've always loved it. I've just spent, I've been doing this for three years. And the first year and a half, I was doing it from home. So I was just in my studio working at all times, day and night. And it just got a little claustrophobic because I kept, mm -hmm and I kept getting new tools and next thing I knew I didn't even have an apartment anymore it was a hat workshop <laughs> partner because I kept getting rid of everything because I needed more space to work mm -hmm. ended up um, getting an office because I thought I should I needed more space and I needed to get out of the house so then I got a, a workspace in downtown, but I started to realize that it was still very lonely. And I only got to see people when they would come in for a hat, for a hat order. So mm -hmm. here, what I wanted to do is um, get out there more and meet more people because my workspace is not, you can't walk by it and see it. So mm -hmm. appointment by appointments. So I wanted to go and do something like the Melrose Post where I can just sit there and work on a hat and somebody will pass by and see what I'm doing and yeah, get to know more people, get out there more, show my face a little bit. And yeah, because otherwise, I, there's a lot of people I've met in the last uh, markets that I did with you guys that I wouldn't have met otherwise. Mm. So it's been- That's really like, the best part of the market is the people that come through. You never know who's going to walk through the door. You know, it could be someone who's looking for, a, you know, just the right present for someone. It could be someone who's a designer. Like, you never know who's going to walk in. And so, you know, it's such a fun place to, like, bring something creative and see how people react to it. Yeah, especially because you're seeing faces instead of Instagrams. Mm-hmm do all my appointments through Instagrams or everybody just sees me through Instagram and they're not really seeing me as a person. Mm -hmm. The reason why doing markets is so important because people get to see you and get to know you and get to talk to you in person. It's just so different when it's face to face other than, you know, through Instagram or yeah, and I think that's, you know, the thing that makes your business so special is that you do get that one-on-one -on -one interaction and, you know, you walk away with a hat that no one else has because it's customized to you. It's that's such a beautiful thing. Yeah. I really love that. And so do you, are, are you working from home now again uh, with this pandemic happening? 
Yeah, because um, in downtown, I would I live in Hollywood, so mm -hmm. I'm going from Hollywood to downtown to go to the office. And when it all started, like what mid March, it just started getting really weird, getting on the metro, and you can just feel the vibe of people. Mm -hmm starting and uh, the building didn't fully close but they started um, cutting like cutting the hour short that you can go in and I mean yeah it got a mm -hmm. little brought my my equipment here so I haven't stopped working but yeah I'm doing it from home now and uh, is it is it a little bit of like a the same thing as before where you felt like oh gosh i'm doing a lot of work from home are you doing anything to kind of um you know make sure you go for a walk or something and get outside and still kind of have a little bit of that outside yeah. of home time it hasn't been honestly that bad for me <laughs> i'm i'm a little weird and awkward <laughs> to start so me going out and doing markets was something out of my comfort zone so for me to be inside here hasn't been any different for me it's been like okay this is fine with me it hasn't been that bad it actually got me gave me a lot of time to be more creative as to mm -hmm. where I was uh, working so much on client hats all the time it's usually what they want of course it has my creative input um, but somebody's giving me an order or something they want. And in this time that I've had to be at home and have so much more time, I've created a lot more things that I wanted to create. It's, it's got oh, nice. been inspiring. I mean, I cool. it was a little um, tough to get inspired again because there was so much uncertainty. Mm -hmm. I didn't happen. It, uh, like close the country for. I thought it was going to be like a two week thing. So I was just waiting on what was going on until I was like, okay, I need to start working again. I need to like redecorate the space and start working and get to it. So that's, I had to start again. That's good. And I, the thing that I've been hearing from a lot of people is that being able to jump into their craft has really helped them get through all of this and really help them have a little peace of mind and moments of, you know, sanity where it's just like working with your hands. It's really therapeutic. Yeah. It's very zen for me. Um, yeah. Just working helps me get out of my mind and stop thinking about things and worries and all of that. So mm -hmm. it's, start being more creative and not just working on clients hats for for me to get back up yeah and so do you have any um designs or anything a little behind the scenes that we can see today yeah um, i'm gonna put zoe down <laughs> <laughs> hi zoe i'm full of hair of course <laughs> So these are, um, this is the material. These are my client's hats that I'm working on next. Mm -hmm. They looked before. Um, I have some materials here. I have, I like to use spray paint sometimes to paint on things. I have some dyes to dye. First, I have all my little things here. I have some hats I've been working on here. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love Thank that. You. It's a little straw hat. I'll be doing more straw hats for summer than this hat. Ooh, is that one felt? Yes, it's felt. Beautiful. Oh, wow. And so these are your designs that you've yes. been able to come up with with yes. this time. That's so cool. The little beret here. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that. I'm working on that still. Um, my plants, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. It's not Laura and Luna without the plants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
And these are clients' hats that I'm working on right now. This is Diego's hat. Nice. So he said he wanted an all black hat with black everything and some design in a circle. So I did that inside. Cool. And these are clients' hats that I've already blocked um, that I need to decorate. Hmm. And so when you say blocked, what does that mean? Um, I'll show you the process right now of how it works. Here. This is Zoe. Ah, hi, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> Another plant. Beautiful. Okay, so when I mean block, when I say blocked, um, I remember I showed you the material over there. Mm -hmm. um this is a steamer so i'll take the i'll take the material oh. i'll take the material and i'll steam it like this mm. so once i steam it the material gets really soft it'll start to get soft and that way i can start forming it I'll use this for a form and this here is a certain size already so when I measure you and I know that you're a small I'll use this to make the shape of it and then once I have it blocked I do a little form this is a flower oh wow it's black so it's hard to see it yeah. it is a little hard but you can see you can see some of the detail on it. Oh, okay, I see it. Yes, that's a good angle. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> the top of it is like a flower. Yeah. Wow. So the steaming, it gets it soft enough for mm -hmm. me to be able to form it. Wow. That is really cool. Yeah. So once I do that, I cut the brim out with this tool here. It's a round jack. So I use this. Ah. <laughs> this nice. tool to cut out. So I use it like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then cuts it uniformly around yes. the end. So then this is my iron that I'll do the brims flat with here. Mm -hmm. When they're all flat, most of them are flat because clients like the flat hats mm -hmm. and then these are some of my tools that i use all the time wow that's cool and then these are my um the, some that i've already cut out for the hat bands so depending on what clients tell me that they want on the hat band i'll grab this and make make it so that it goes around it like this okay nice yeah and this is my little pin <laughs> very cool it's also a little like plant that's so cute <laughs> yep wow and of course i use the sander as well to make it make the material look less furry or I burn them as well to give it a different texture. Oh, you burn them too? That's cool. Yeah, I can't do it right now with one hand, but <laughs> it would be cool. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I wouldn't want you to get hurt, so we'll definitely yeah. avoid that. Here's <laughs> another flower that I'm making. Wow! Oh, yeah, you can really see it well right here. That is so cool. Yeah, it's better in white, easier to see it. Yeah, that is beautiful. That is Thank such a you. cool shape. I love that. Yep, wow. so this is my little workspace for now. Very, Very cool. cool. Oh, it's so beautiful there. There's Zoe. <laughs> This is my sewing machine. I only use it to make the lining inside. 
um, and these hats are Klein's hat that I need to send out to him. Nice. And a drawing that I made a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> yep. This is the iron I used to use back then when I couldn't afford a nice one. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little space for now. Very cool. I love your makeshift office and workspace. It's really beautiful. Thank um, you. I like the booth. And I'm sure your office is equally as beautiful in downtown. Yes, I miss the big window. Mm -hmm. I, I like working in a lot of sunlight. So I'm trying to get some sun in here, but it gets so hot right now. Yes, yeah. It's been pretty warm lately. <laughs> it seems like it's getting warmer quicker. Yeah, it's gonna be a hot summer. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, can we get a little more of a look at the hat that you're wearing? Yeah. Uh, this is you designed for yourself? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, wow. So I'll be selling these hats in summer, like at markets, if they get started again, in different colors. I made this one for myself, but it's one that I'll be um, putting out for summertime. But it, it's also very beautiful. And is that embroidered on the leaf? Very beautiful. And so uh, if someone wanted to purchase a hat today, let's say, what would be the best way for them to go about that? Um, the best way they could send me a message on Instagram and I can send them the entire information, the how to measure, the prices, um, the colors. They can also go to my website, uh, www.floriluna.com. They can my my Instagram as well. And yeah. Very cool. Well, uh, this has been a beautiful tour. I love seeing your space and Zoe. It was very lovely to meet Zoe. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to leave us all with today uh, before you go? <laughs> um, that let's hope this passes soon and let's stay creative, stay positive, uh, do daily things that make you happy. And yeah, it's that was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ariana. It's been so fun talking to you today. So I hope to see you guys soon. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> All right. See you later. Sorry. Do you know when we back up the market? We do, not, we do not know yet. You know, we're keeping a lookout. We've noticed, you know, San Francisco is starting to open up some outdoor events. So we're just keeping, you know, a lookout for any new information that comes up from the city of Los Angeles. Um, and, you know, we're going to do whatever we have to do to make sure it's safe, you know? So, yeah. So, but we'll be contacting all our vendors once we know any details, but right now we really don't know anything, unfortunately. Understandable. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ariana. It's been wonderful talking to you. Everyone go follow her on Instagram and go check out all her beautiful designs and I'll see you soon, Ariana. I hope. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, that was wonderful. So thank you everyone who has been watching these videos. Um, it has been really fun connecting with the vendors that I miss. Um, you know, there's so many wonderful people that come to the market. So if you are a vendor watching and you'd like to participate, you can go ahead and send us a message through Instagram or you can email me directly. Um, and also just, you know, take care of yourselves. Make sure that if you feel like you're alone, that you reach out because we're doing this to be able to connect with each other and to be able to connect our vendors to all of you. Um, you know, we don't want the market being closed to stop you from being able to shop local and shop small businesses and creative businesses. So if there's a vendor from the market, thank you, Patrick. If there's a vendor from the market that you miss and you don't know how to connect with them, reach out to us, send us a message through Instagram um, or our emails are on our website. Um, we can help you connect with that vendor. So 
you know, if there's something you want to refill that uh, you've had from before and you just can't find the vendor's name, you know, reach out to us and we'll try to help you connect with them so that you can continue supporting the small businesses that you love. So everyone, thank you so much for joining us for MTP Live. It has been so much fun. Um, yes, uh, next week is Mother's Day, so make sure you buy things for your mother. Uh, or uh, also watch this next week with her, and we'll have a wonderful, um, wonderful lineup for you. And keep an eye out on our Instagram for uh, all the updates of who will be participating each week. We intend on doing these lives um, until we open back up. So stay tuned, and we'll be connecting you with more of your favorite local vendors uh, who really, they feel as disconnected as you do uh, without the market. So we want to bring everyone together. So I'm Natalie signing off, and I will see you all next week. Bye.